Welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. I'm Dan. I'm about to play some standard pauper. I uh, like Gruel Aggro in all formats. But in this particular one, it might be Flickergate actually. I like Flickergating. And it seems to be the strongest deck in standard pauper. Except for maybe Monobo Flyers, but that deck is boring me. And actually, if you look at the results, let's look at some results at pdcmagic.com here. You probably see that the blue decks are just running over the poor metagame. Last standard poker tournament. Eight players, that doesn't say a lot. Yeah, Draco of Seakite played uh, Mon Blue. Won with it. Lost to a Nivik Cyclops deck. No, he won over Nivik Cyclops decks. And yeah, two Mon Blue Fly decks. Yeah, one and third. But if there are eight people in the tournament. Why are not more people playing in these tournaments? Check out pdcmagic.com for standard pauper tournaments. I'm getting uncertain if Gaddling actually runs a standard pauper tournament. Gaddling probably runs whatever people will run for them. And here's an opponent. Should bring forth the sideboard plan. It's melancholy, and I want to play first. I have the sideboard plan, and yeah, wow, this is like coming home. Oh, the sweet cards of Flickergate, and of course I should have played the Demir Guildgate there, so I begin by immediately doing mistakes. And now I can't do it because I want to play the Prism. But if I want to activate the gatekeeper now, I will be in trouble. Because I really wanted to play a gate on turn 3. And uh, a normal land on turn 4, so I could play the Ubisoft gatekeeper. Okay, it might be Mill. That is our weak spot. For sure. And uh, it looks like I have to play an empty gatekeeper. If it is mill, I am paying, playing the empty gatekeeper here to put some sort of clock on him. But uh, yeah, well, he didn't do anything about it. Probably has a kill spell. Murder. Get me to the gates on time. So uh, maybe a green gate, maybe a semi gill gate. And I have victim of night mana, but now he can think twice from the graveyard, unless he has forgotten about it, but he hasn't. And he has eight cards in his hand, nine cards in his hand. Luckily, I am Flickergate, so I never die. He looks very controlish. Well, I don't want to cast an empty gatekeeper. So maybe I'm actually using the haunted fan graph here. Alchemy. But not mill. Uh, he will have a really hard time controlling us. Uh, ok. 
Okay. It's a shade, so we can kill it. Uh, we don't want to kill it. We want to uh, ubulsar it in the face. First, let's get back a random creature card. Like that one, yes. Okay, is there any way we can tap this so we have... Yeah, this way. He hasn't read the primer about n avoiding creatures without too toughness. So I'm saving victim of night mana here. Ravenous rats. I guess I'll have the gate sooner or later. Hmm. I think he might flicker it here. No. Do I have any goodies there? Not really. So if it flickers in response to me killing it. Oh. There was a random mill card. So he has plenty of graveyard shenanigans, cremates maybe? But is he really milling me? I don't feel like I need the grave purges. The oh. oh, he found me the grave purge, actually. So do I now recover the grave purge? I could do that. Another gate, perhaps? Maybe another Simic Guild gate. And here comes our Keomancer going for Great Perch. What do you want? Murder, perhaps? Psychic strike. The thing is... I don't know if I need to cast anything into your psychic strike. I'm comfortable just beating you down, sir. Oh, maybe now. Well, then I'll... I'll Grey Perch then. For... Gatekeeper... Well, let's do it. So... which order? Maybe this order. All right. Has eight mana now, though I have nine. Dead waste their Keomancer, I can live with that. And he is doing damage. a lot of cards.
do I even need anything? Do I want him to counter this? Maybe I want him to counter the gatekeeper because I will find more broken stuff to do. Guild gate. Well, yes. Now I have a blocker too. You don't really want to spend the card dealing with him. Uh, oh. All those fancy cards. Do I want to take out the Archaeomancer now for f to prevent flickering? This might be a key mistake. He had another one. Surprise, surprise! Oh, what is he getting back? Murder. Makes sense. Taking out the Narkeomancer again. Just drawing guys every turn is pretty good. Well, the game has stalled out, and who does benefit from that? It must be him. So does he have two counter spells? Well, he probably does. But I'm gonna empty my hand here. Oh, I got the, the flicker doing that little. But now I'm in trouble. Or maybe I'm just being controlled. And I don't have curses. In my sideboard. Oh. Okay, so now I never get to draw a card again, right? If he knows of it. And he does. So I'm locked out. Definitely need the cremates. You have to deal with that guy though. And you did. And I think he's got me locked out here. So let's go on to the second game. I want the cremates for sure. Uh, Grey purges felt pretty good. Do I want the dispels? Possibly. Uh, but then what? I might get rid of the Bloodhunter Bat, the Borderland Ranger. I will not be able to support all the dispels, or will I? Am I better off 
Yeah, I didn't kill anything really good, did I? And killing Archaeomancers is seldom the problem, right? So it is the kill spells I need to get rid of. I think. Let me know what you think. And draw cards, counter stuff. Triple Grave Purge. There we go. Yes, I would like to play first. Yes, I would like to mulligan to six cards. Yes, I would like to mulligan to five cards. And hold, hoping for a gatekeeper. How many lands do I play? Twenty-two. That's a bit shallow, isn't it? I could see going up a land, actually. Cutting one of the one-offs. And going for another land. I think he will counter this. What do you think? But he didn't. So I'm getting the Demir Gilgate. And now I'm suddenly in the ballpark again. Yeah, I'll cremate that. <sighs> so much good stuff to cremate. But it's the alchemy. Black. No. No way. <laughs> Maybe I should have done it on his turn. But I wanted not to miss the land drop. And there, I got my land drop. Okay, Master 4. Psychic Strike. Seems like the time to cast the... Ubulsar. Ooh, Bulsar. Tyser. Psychic Strike counters anything. Makes me discard two cards. But he chooses to cast Liliana Shade instead. Hmm. So he can become a 3-3. Three, three. What can we get back? Flicker. Well, I hear Flicker is pretty good. So I'm going for it. Oh, 
the third. You fear that guy, don't you? Well, now I'm gonna take huge amounts of pain. It still has psychic strike. But he can't pump it fully because he needs to be able to counter. I thought I would crush a control deck like this. I'm casting the gatekeepers now to force him to use the counter. He did, so hopefully I can make my other card stick. Well, his flashback stuff is uh, really working out for him. Tempting him, doesn't fall for it. Uh, okay, no! Scheiße. And luckily, I drew into this guy, so I can deal with their Keomancer. Keep up the pressure. the shade. They do really suck in multiples. But now he can kill. At least I'm still drawing breath. But I'm getting uh, out controlled here. Ah, maybe I should just play Gruel Agri in tournaments. Gonna take the damage here for once, see how much it does. History. Look for the gates. Alchemy. He's just ruling me. Pawning me. Crushing me. No attack. But how do I get back from this? Oh god. Look. Wow, he always gets it and <laughs> I am not close to it. But uh, yeah, he's drawing more cards so... That's what wins the control versus control matchups. Now he's getting extra swarms. I 
can still cast my instant, so I can still try to kill the Archaeomancer, but I'm sure he has that covered too. so much trouble here and I have nothing uh, he's doing it then my end step there yep thank you for watching magic gathering strat I thought I would return to flicker gate and have a blast but the only deck that is performing consistently for me is um, Hexproof, actually. Still undefeated with three different Hexproof decks. Uh, thank you for watching Magic Adding Strat, playing some standard pauper.